Hey everybody, Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Line School. We have had fantastic success selling our LT Right Knives Built Chamonix designed by yours truly. And what I wanted to do in this video was share, I think, I don't know, five or six different ways that we are going to be able to utilize a long knife to help do a lot of skills that are a little bit on the unorthodox side, but actually make things a lot safer. Thanks for joining me. All right, so for use number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some things that are important about utilizing the back of your blade as a scraping tool. So one of the things that we'll do a lot of times is use the back of our blade as a scraping tool like I'm doing on this cedar to get some bark for a uh, fire tender. However, what that does is it puts the sharp side of the blade towards you, which can be a dangerous situation. So let me show you a way to help you with that. So I try to find a piece of wood that's somewhat dead Sometimes this splits all the way through, so we'll see what we've got here. It's gonna work pretty good. Now I can hold, and I'm not having the blade directly against my hand. Makes it a little bit safer in case there's some sort of slip. Doesn't mean I push all the way through, because that's dangerous in and of itself. But this does allow me to use a two-handed approach with this long knife. Now the beauty of this, is that sometimes we can use a lot of this portion of the blade because it's right by our hand. But by doing this and being able to use two hands, I can use the entire back of the blade and not one single portion of it gets dulled too quickly. It makes easy tender acquisition. All right, number two, we oftentimes see folks making feather sticks where you take a long slice to get a fine piece of wood. That's good, nothing wrong with it. But what you can also do is place the blade and get your feather pieces by moving the wood against the blade. Personally, I find this to be a little bit safer and easier to use. Hey, another reason that I like a long knife is because you can set it up to be a really good draw knife. What I mean by that is you find a decent handle like I have here, drive the tip down into it and then on that same log we've been using earlier I can use it as a draw knife as well. Now using the back is going to scrape just surface bark but by setting up a draw knife, we can change the angle with our handle here and it can make a deeper cut. We can start cutting into wood rather than just the outer bark. All right, so we all like using the backs of our blades for utilization against a ferro rod. And most of the time we're doing it one of several ways, either just pushing the blade pulling the ferro. What I like to do is stick my blade down into the tender bundle. That keeps all the sparks right there close. Makes it easy for me to put a lot of sparks in there, especially on tender like this where it's raining and everything's going to be a little damp. Hey, and while we're here, take a look at this. A lot of people have a ferroserum rod and like to have a magnesium block or rod as well. You don't need that if you have ferroserum. So if you take your time, if you look closely, you'll see that very fine pieces of the ferro are coming off here. And having a long knife like this makes this really easy to capture those sparks once we light it. So I like this too with a fast stroke. So there you have it. You don't really need magnesium as much as you need a ferro rod. And you take these short strokes and you can get those ferro cerium pieces off there and it's gonna light up and be really hot. Put that in the tinder bundle, you're ready to rock. All right, another great use of having a long knife is for tracking. And that you know exactly how long your knife is. This is 12 inches long and I can lay that down for tracks and know the approximation between 
the front track and the back track, as well as if I know, for example, that the blade is six and three quarter inches, since that's what this blade is, then I can get a really good estimate knowing that, well, that's right at half the length. So I'm looking at three, a little over three and a quarter inches right there for that track. So you can use this much like native cultures or even uh, old school young America cultures where you use your thumb as a measuring tool, your hand uh, from your elbow to your fingertips and any number of things as a measuring tool. Use this as a measuring tool to get an idea of different measurements for plants, for tracks and any number of things in the outdoors. Hey, there you have it. This has been Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Reliance School. You need to do this for me. Put in the comments below the way that you would use a long knife. Uh, tell me which one was your favorite and also do this. Subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate that. Check out our online school. You'll see that in the description below. I have a load of stuff in video form there that it's only for subscribers. Thanks for everything. Come on, join in. Let's learn together.